teacher, did you learn from your students? Oh, always. I think most of what I know I learned from my students. You know, because I, again, I'll just throw this out there. I never finished college. I don't have any degrees. You know, I've been one of those sort of life learner types. Mm -hmm. um, and I found out, I mean, what I learned was when I started teaching is really when I started learning about theater. Mm -hmm. Because to have to articulate it rather than just do it, especially to people who are just beginning to grasp it. You know, it's a, different, it's a different language form. It's a different heart place. It's a different everything yeah. than just doing it yourself. And, and you know, when, when I started teaching, I was 29. My students were only like eight or nine years younger than me. You know, it's a, now it's a big, much bigger gap. But right. there was just, I don't know, there was just something in learning how to articulate it that made me get even clearer in my own head about what the heck I was doing. You know, I yes. never, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't I was going, I, I was going, like, yes. I never felt like the Lord of knowledge mm -hmm. in my classroom. I mean, certainly I knew more, but it didn't mean I knew how to articulate it until I was asked, you know? So, oh yeah, I mean, the students have been a huge part of my learning curve. <clears throat> so after you left PCPA, uh, in 2005, something really amazing happened. You wrote the music for Lend Me a Tenor the Musical. Now, I actually saw the play at Solvang when they did it for PCPA when it was not a musical. It was just a straight play. Yeah, it was just a play. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I'd love to hear how, first of all, how did the idea come about? Hey, let's write a musical. And then how long did it actually take? for the process. Okay. Well, again, this is another one of those crazy, I can't believe this even happened stories. But my writing partner, Peter Sham, um, who teaches at Southern Utah University, who I met as an actor at the Utah Shakespeare Festival in 2002. We hit it off immediately.